Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the second hour of the final episode of A Song of Tara. And um, we are uh, going to rejoin our uh, heroes inside Dublin after this brief intermezzo out at Tara. We are going to go to um, uh, O'Connell Street um, and, uh, and uh, see uh, what happens to... Um, see what happens to uh, Fenna and to uh, Madi who are looking at um, uh, who you you two are looking down through the uh, the, the uh, through the streets and and uh, as I said you can see uh, uh, Aideen coming towards you uh, Aideen can definitely see you uh, does she recognize us? Yes, uh, she does. I mean, she's seen both of you several times before, including in various different forms. So she's she sees uh, she sees someone who is who is obviously friendly, and she smiles and and tries to pick up pace. But you know, by now the woman is quite heavily pregnant. Yes, I think Madi runs to meet her, and you know, bends down so possibly she can ride him because a pregnant woman is not particularly good at running fast no yes definitely we go to her fast <laughs> yes and just as you do so uh which shape am i expected to be in uh whichever one you want to be in yes whatever form you want to be in at this point well considering we were coming in expecting to go directly into battle his all right so you're both in his bow. okay that looks pretty good to uh great big dire wolves you know rushing down this this street towards the woman in in, in central dublin that, that actually i like the, the mental image of this this is this is pretty cool and and just as you do so then from behind uh or behind Aideen, she doesn't see or hear anything in fact you you guys see it you don't hear it either you see something really sinister and black and tenderly it doesn't even look human it, it's more like a um it's more like a. It's 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 clearly a spirit, um, and it's it's clearly some kind of of, of bane, um, coming out of the shadow underneath a lamp post. Has Aideen climbed aboard yet? Uh, no, she hasn't. It is going directly for her. You guys are fast enough to overtake her and attack this thing, but she is not going to. If she, if you stop to get her on there, that thing will catch you. In that case, as they are running, Madi yes. will do like, I don't know if a bark is the right word, yeah. uh, as he activates the spirit snare gift. Yes. Uh, I, which means he casts out an invisible mystic net which entangles the spirit and confounds them with a mixture of magical force and long broken but still Gaian law. All right. And I will spend the gnosis and roll. Yes. That's probably a good idea. It's also quite large, isn't it, if I remember? Uh, it's not the mandala. This is a single okay. target. Okay. It's this. Okay. Because the point I was saying before I even, you know, I, I wasn't quite done yet. The okay. point is that out of that, out of the shadow comes this, this, uh, the spirit. But you see more like it. Uh, In that case, I will use the other one. Yes, you see more like, like it coming out of, of doorways, doorways and and, and hall, you know, or, or, or down from, you know, uh, what are they called? Uh, inside doorways or or behind trash dumpsters or you know that sort of thing basically anywhere where there is a shadow right now one of these these uh, very very uh, thin uh, crook uh, crook backed uh, uh, shadow bane things come out of of, of nowhere it's they, they have these their their fingers look almost like knives uh, that they're that long and they, they look viciously sharp yeah. Well, I want to use fate because I got two successes and two ones. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. That's one success, isn't it? Uh it's, it's I don't remember what's the difficulty for fate rolls. Uh oh. Fate fate rolls isn't that simply another another two dice that you can use? 
Oh, in that case, it's no more successes, and I want to use a willpower to actually get a success. All right, well, in that case, you use a willpower point to get a success. I think the seven. success for fate is seven or eight, actually. Okay, well, in that case, obviously, you need to use a, 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 a fate or a fate point. Nice. Yes, I'm, I'm really, really... I can't language right now. You're using... A willpower. A willpower point to get an extra success. Good. Which yes. means a, a sigil burns itself into the ground with a radius of uh, well, a radius of fifty feet. Yes, around where Madi is. Yes, and uh, and these these creatures immediately start to flail in pain. Obviously, it's it's very very painful for them, but there are quite a lot of them by now. Um, so we need some uh, initiatives from you guys. Yes, let me just check my dexterity bonuses. Plus three for his bow. Thank you. Well, I can't get any higher. That's pretty decent. Well, that's weak of you. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. There you go. But then the question becomes can I even do anything against Baines? Why if not, not you, you can, can definitely be the mount. Why yes. wouldn't you be able to? I, I don't know, they're like spirit-like and I don't yeah, know... You always hit them. They are quite uh, quite susceptible to being hit very hard um, okay. by by very large... Uh, 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 very large claws. And it's got... And, and, and teeth? And teeth. Let's see, I need to... That's number three. And it had a eleven and number four, which had how many points of let's go ten and number five, which is the last one. I'll be nice to you. There are only five, only five. And it had five. So there we go. Alright, uh, Madi is definitely uh, on top of the... Uh, wow, okay, no, Fenner is definitely on top of the list. Uh, let's just make the writing a wee bit smaller, shall we, though? Thank you. I yes. kind of like that uh, I'm using the gift the spider taught me right outside her lair. Yes. <laughs> that is nice. Maybe she'll see you and be proud. Hey, if she wants to join, I would not mind. I think she has her own battle to worry about. And I'm, I'm sorry, Most I'm just gonna, likely, I'm yeah. just gonna um, fidget around here and get everything set up. Okay. There we go. And I still need this to be not that size. So here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, you wanted to spend two, Fenner, right? right. Yeah. You got 21. There we go. The, there we go. This seems like a good time to be spending double rage. Yes, it does. But every time I try to change the size of, of your of your um, uh, of, of the writing, it popped back because you, you made some change. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see. And there we go. These things are not terribly uh, large, but they do look exceptionally vicious. And those hands of theirs, those those the the sickles that they have for for hands, the the uh, uh, the long knives almost look extremely uh, extremely sharp. Um, so yeah, uh, Fena, what do you want to do? Uh, or actually, no, we are declaring in reverse order. Well, it's pretty simple. Um, they realize that there are uh, Garu. Um, to be uh, to be fought, so number um, number one and two will go for um, number one and two will go for um, 
uh, Mari. Number three and four will go for Fena, and number five will continue to go for Edin. So, yes, Fena, what do you want to do? Or, oh, sorry, Mari, what do you want to do? Because you are next up. I want to play uh, intercepting Doggo. Okay. So I, I get in between Aideen and the Banes to okay. yes. stop them from getting to their target. Yes, so you're going to be the good dog and yes, okay. Fine. Uh, Fana, what do you want to do? I see number five headed for Aideen yes. and I want to kill it. Alright, so you, you make a, uh, a, a beeline for the one that seems to be ignoring you and your fellow uh, werewolf. All right, good. Yes. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Good. Well, Fenna first. You go for that. Yes, with a bite. Yes. I, I am a little bit disappointed that I didn't take the chance while Mardi was activating a gift before battle started to also activate Trollskin, but whatever. So. Hitting with a bite, that is dex plus brawl, yes? It is indeed. Uh, and I was about to roll one die too little. Let's not do that. Let's make sure that you use everything. I have, you have. crazy many dice. Yes, yes, you do. Holy and shit. those are yes, two ones, do. but I have a lot of successes. Yes, too. yes, you have a massive Sadly, amount no of tens. successes. No, no, but that's still an obscene amount of. That's still plus four on. No, actually, because it's a bite, so the difficulty yeah. is five. So that's plus oh. six. <laughs> that's plus six on your uh, on on your um, uh, damage. Damage. So go ahead, but that's good because these things don't have health levels per se. They have, uh, they have um, essence levels. So yeah, uh, and they lose one per turn. Yes, they do. Is that including my uh, plus one for it being a bite, or? Uh, no, you you add an extra die for that. To your yeah, no, no, it's just. Uh, there are what seven successes there? Right, two, four, six. No, eight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Plus six there, yeah. and then plus one for that. Yeah. No, the, the uh, plus the plus one is not an yeah, automatic yeah. success. It's oh. it's you oh. you roll an extra die. Yeah, I'm counting how many dice to oh, okay. roll. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um. Oops. No, wait. If I have, no, I, I'm confused. I yeah. get five. No, I get five for that, right? Because the first hit is. That's true. The first hit is is obvious. Yeah. So yeah, yeah you get five. Yeah. The. Okay. Lots of confusion today. Brilliant, isn't it? Combat is hard. Yes. Wow. That's. Uh, Ching. That's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A shame I don't have a specialty. <laughs> Specialties doesn't count on damage, only on the initial okay. roll. Fair. I didn't have any tins up there anyway. I... Th those are like four soaks too many. Yeah. But it's still a good roll on your part. So, yeah. And that was number five that you went for, right? Yeah. Yes. So that's taken. There you go. Good. And then it's Madi. Yeah. So what do do I roll for intercepting? Uh, well, n th basically, Fena has already... Uh, intercepted the only one that was specifically going for uh, Aideen. Uh, the true. others are going for you and for her. In that case, let's make her life a little easier and use the Spirit Snare on one of the two going for her. Alright, but that requires you to spend a... Uh, a Gnosis, that's right. No, a, a willpower point to change your action. 
Mm, and then you can't also spend rage. But, uh, and then you can't also spend rage if you spend a gnosis point, that's true. Mm, I guess I'll have to because, well, my action is null by virtue of Finna's action. Yes. I have a very good question to your gift, actually, Marty. Which one of them? Uh, the mandala you're doing, that's the one, right? Doesn't uh, it have a kinda. radius? Yes, it does. Yes, we because that, then if you, just, uh, if you were just placing it on her, then they wouldn't actually just run in without getting hurt. Oh, it's, it's placed around me. Oh, right. Well, oh, I will. Um, I've spent a willpower to change my action and a gnosis to activate the gift, which means I cannot use rage this round. Yep. And now I will roll as an attack. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay, nice. That's two successes. That is. How many? Two successes? Yeah, sure. Yes. On And that was uh, on the net thing you said? Yes. Yeah, that's Spirit Snare. So I'm using this gift on one of uh, the ones attacking Fena. And yes. it says, the player spends one notice point and rolls until you the cult. As an attack directed at a spirit within 30 feet, which can be defended against normally. Uh, okay, it can def so it can dodge, for example, but it it hasn't yeah. declared it has declared a dodge. So well, it's now snare. In that case, its effective willpower is uh, is reduced by two yep. for the purpose of all combat actions for the rest of the scene. All right. The uh, let's see, that takes care of that takes care of that. Then it is number three, which has. Basically, it's it's launching itself uh, with a, a, a vicious little hissing sound towards uh, Fenna, and while it is mid leap, it suddenly gets uh, it, it, you, you see it jumping, and then Madi uh, does this this he he makes his bark, and from his muscle shoots a a, a web, catching this the spirit mid air. And it it gets uh, it does get struck by it. It doesn't stop its jump, obviously, but it has it, it's clearly hindered by it by the time it actually gets to Fenna. So let's see if it can hit at all. That's that's actually no longer a foregone conclusion. <laughs> no, it can't. It misses. There you go. Then I don't have to spend any on my rage actions punching nope. or anything. Nope, it 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 misses you because you know, sad and sorry yep. uh, uh, thing that it is. But number two uh, goes for Madi, and and uh, again does this you know jumping sort of attack seems to be the preferred method. And let's see if it can hit you. I vote it can't. No, it genuinely can't, because, no. What the hell is up with me in rolling ones today? Uh, number four also goes for, uh, for Fena. Same sort of, same sort of deal. Aha, finally. It has two successes. Fena, do you want to? Uh, yeah, I'll soak it. You'll soak it? All right. And it uh, chops into you. There you go. One, two, three, four. Soak that. Okay. You four. soak three. Wait, no, three. Three. Right. Yeah. No, wait a second. Do you have any uh, stamina? Uh, she uh, does. Uh, yeah, but it's tireless. All right, no, that that doesn't uh, work there. So okay, go ahead. Uh, that's three, so you only take one point of damage. It is, however, uh, aggravated, so um, healing mm. it is is not going to be okay. uh, that easy. But yes. But just one. Yes, yeah. just the one, just the one. And no, oh, it's too early for me to get a right edge part back. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately. Um, Damn it. And uh, let's see. 
then it is that was number four then it's number one which is also going for uh Mari. miss 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 hit 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 with no. it's got three successes guess i'll have to soak yep guess you do and let's see well you don't have to but that would be stupid that wasn't particularly good okay that's three successes for you to soak yosh And that's three successes. Yes, so basically you you managed to avoid more than maybe getting a, a few tufts of fur shaved off by these razor-sharp, sickle-like appendages that it's got. And That is much And then there's number five, which has already been bitten into by, by Fenna. And it, it obviously is not happy about that and wants to make her... Uh, regret what she's done so there you go she eh, that's one success do you want to soak <laughs> mm, i'm asking myself if i i actually want to spend the willpower to use one of my rage actions to dodge uh seeing as you have your rage actions already set aside for it and you haven't declared them yet you can just use one of them without using a willpower point ah, okay sweet i'm gonna do that yeah go ahead didn't you also have that merit that let you just do it? Uh, it requires me spending one willpower to... Reflexively spending one willpower to actually activate it. Yep. Ah. And then I can just do it for the rest of the day. That's nice. All right, there you go. Yep. Okay. And it is Dex and Athletics, right? Yes, yes it is. Two dots? Yes, it is. Alrighty. I'm going to be so pissed if I fail this. <laughs> oh god, no, you don't fail that. And I ha I have a specialty. Oh my god, yes, you 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 do the kung fu doggy and and avoid this. Uh no no problem at all. It doesn't even get close. Um That of course makes it uh, uh, Fenna's uh, rage action because you still got one left. Mahdi, of course, can't spend his rage because he used Gnosis instead. Um, so, Fenna, what do you want to do with your remaining rage action? I want to kill this fucker. Okay. <laughs> I just want to be sure. You know, you might want to take it home for dinner or something. Oh, no. <laughs> I think Aura would be very, very sad if she did. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Look, honey, I found us a pup. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> a very banal puppy. Especially because he's bane and they could be banal. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Let's see. And now I just have to figure out again how much I have to uh, hit with. Uh, 6,000 die. And... Seven and ten. Ten. Go ahead. Something tells me this is going to be painful. Oh. Oh, really? Very painful. God. Question. Um, eight. Yeah. W would either of uh, preternatural grace or lightning reflexes apply? <laughs> I'd say with the dodge you had before, then this is you moving into a... Um, uh, this is you moving from a dodge and directly into an attack. I'll I'll give it to you this time because that's uh, normally preternatural grace would be for dodging, but but I'll let it go this time because your do dodge roll was as good as it was. That is. Mm -hmm. Ten them. Okay. So this is this is really kung fu doggy uh, moving aside from the blow and then slipping right into an attack. So that's. Eight attack, eight, eight, uh, uh, no, ten. One. She, oh, right, there is a there's one. And then there's a one. one. Yeah, so there's the, nine. Does the, one does the one subtract a success or a ten? A ten, it always takes a ten. The top. Okay. 
so uh, that means nine successes. That means you roll eight extra on your, your damage, plus one for a bite, plus your strength. Yes, and I plus think my this thing, strength. I, th I think this thing is going to be in deep trouble. So it was eight extra, Ow. right? Eight extra, plus his plus yes. strength, plus one for biting. Ow. Yeah. Oh, Surprisingly heavens. bad. Oh, well, yeah. But the difficulty. No, it's far. Let's, oh, no, the difficulty two, four, to six. Yeah, yeah, that's. I just remembered. Two, four, yeah. Okay. Fifteen! Yeah. Holy yep. shit! And yet I only hit with six of them. Yeah, it's still. It's actually. It is enough. Uh, you you uh, bite into this thing, and um, the the thing is, it, it feels a little bit like you're biting into shadow. Obviously, rather foul smelling shadow, but it it does uh, it does come apart. It it does with this this faint little eek! shriek sort of sound, and it 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 um, it it dissipates, uh, leaving behind a sound not unlike somebody drawing fingernails across a blackboard. So, there you Goodbye. go. Bye bye. I growl at the rest of them. That's not an action, right? Nope. That's fine. You can growl. And we have a new round. Let's see what we can get out of that. Aww. Ooh, nice. Two of them have good uh, rolls this time. And that one stays at 10, and this one is... Yeah. They've got good rolls, but nine. neither of them ha have higher than no. our two-player characters. So. No. Because we have heroic player characters. Da-da-da-da. All right. Well, in this case, what happens this round? Oh, we need to change around Madi and Fenner. Oh, we do. Uh, what happens uh, is that number um, number three uh, sticks with Fenner because it's already, well, sticky. It's already been webbed and that's it. Uh, and, number, um, and number one stays with Madi, but number four and number two both change focus and d decide to try to get to their actual target. And that, of course, is... Thus indeed. making themselves targets. Mm -hmm. Madi. Yep. Uh, or, sorry, Fena, what do you want to do with your um, uh, first action? Uh, which two went for... Two and four. Eating? Two and four. Uh, was I at, in any way involved with either of those two? Uh, yes, you were involved with number four. Okay. I attack number four. All right. I fight it. Yes. Basically, you see that it's changing its focus, and then that's when you lash out at it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, Marty? Then I shall kill number two. You will kill number two. All right. No problem. Go for the poop. Go for the poop. Well, Marty, you first. Yes, and I bite it. Yes. Uh, just because, you know, his poo. Yes. So you, you go um, directly for it. It's it's not right. Um, uh, or it's, it's, it is right in your face because it's one of the two that attacked you last round as well. So, yeah. Go ahead. Roll. Oh, my. Yee. Oh, my. That's a lot of successes because five obviously is a success. So that's even with the two subtractions, that's, so that's four, four successes. Four. That's plus three to your damage roll. And his bow increases my strength with three. I can't tell from this annoying. Yes, uh, his bow increases it by three. Cool. Uh, so that is, I forgot how to roll damage. 
Uh, That's strength friends. plus what? Strength plus uh, one in this case because it's it's a bite in his bow. Plus, and you had four successes, so plus three. I think the easy way to put it when it's when it's biting, it's just your strength plus however many successes you had. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good point. Oh, I forgot to sort them. Sorry. <gasps> That's fine. That's kind of I am fun. so One, disappointed two, three, four. in you. That's four successes. Yes. Soak you little scythe creature. Mm. Or don't. Mm. Or don't. Right. It doesn't actually soak. It gets bitten into. Well, it soaks some of it. And Fenna, what do you want to do? Well, I'm batting number four. Yes. Go ahead. Two, four, five successes. Yep. Five. Yep, when you subtracted the one. So yeah, go ahead, roll damage. Plus five. That's an ouch. Oh my goodness. Okay, that, that's that's going to be an interesting soak. No, it isn't. Uh, that's eight. Well, okay, he doesn't subtract the ones. So I rolled that's... eight successes because I aided. Yes, you, you aided it. Um, well, he takes a whole lot of damage. Obviously. Ow. Uh, then it is, in fact, number four who has just been... Well, eated it. Yes, and he tries to return the favor, well, not by biting you, but by slashing at you. And let's see if he can. Well, it's a success. One. Mm, I, uh, I don't know if I should. I, I, I'm going to dodge it. Okay. And I already forgot how many dice I had for that. Uh, oh. Just straight up ten. You can't hit me! Nope. Do, 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 can't touch this. Uh. Yeah, I, I just really don't want those penalties. No, no. Penalties are no fun. Uh, and he, yeah. he, he slices... is near impossible to get. Yep, Greased Lightning. Let's just stay on the music thing. You um, uh, you, you dodge that one quite uh, efficiently as well. Uh, then it's number one. And number one is still attacking... Uh, Still attacking Muddy. Let's see if he can hit. Oh, he can. Two, three successes. I will attempt to soak it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that shouldn't be too difficult. Can you soak those two points of damage, please? My... God, my rolls are horrible. This is supposed to be the great big epic ending of all this, and I roll like this. What? Well, Assuming ones well, don't subtract, I soak too. Yeah, you soak too. Well, okay. look at the bright side. We're the ones looking epic. Yeah, 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 you are. Yeah. The, these guys are fighting five Bane spirits at the same time, and they're coming off pretty much unscathed. It's ridiculous. My rolls are horrendous. All right. Uh, that was number one, then it's number two, which is, uh, the one who went for, that was the one that you was, you were also fighting that one, right, Maddie? Yep, it's, uh, definitely, um, well, it got, it bit it, it got bitten, but let me see, how much damage did it take? Right, it still goes for her. No! Bad thing. It still goes for her. And let's see how much it manages to do. 
Did I not do enough damage to get aggro? Nope. Well, it does uh, go for her, and it does hit her. No, bad. But not I can't heal. Not terribly well. Me neither. But she's human, so she can't soak. Nope, she can't. Ah, oh, please don't let him rip her child out. That would be you. That's four successes. She is badly wounded. She's alive, but she's badly wounded. Stop stressing her! And... Right. Uh... No, that's true. You didn't have the Healy thing, did you? Nope. No, that's Taryn. That's Taryn. And Tally. And Tally. It's the tea people. Is it? It is. Well, 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 if they're all heading for the uh, thingy after, they might actually meet up there. We are headed for the green afterwards. Maybe someone's yes. alive in there. Yes. Um, Hopefully. Right. Then there's the... Um... Wait, give me a second here. Uh, there is number three, which is still fighting... Uh, she's still fighting uh, Fenna, but it's it's not doing too well because it's been, yeah, okay, it's got one success. Do you want to? I'm soak. You just want to soak this one, okay? Go ahead and soak. That's one. That's two, a slightly three, tougher four. one. <laughs> That's five soaks. Yeah, because I should have touched. <laughs> Uh, the bot doesn't, doesn't count, subtract. right? Nope, so you take two points. Yeah. Good. Two. Right, and... Okay, here's what happens. Just as you see that this this uh, shade um, slashes into Aideen, and, and as I said, she's she is not doing well at all. She does, you know, uh, collapse on, on, on the ground. Um... Hopefully sideways or with her back to the ground. Uh, yes, uh, but she falls on her side. Um, blood is pouring from several wounds. She does not look like she's doing terribly well. And um, and these these uh, little banes are are hysterically uh, gleeful. And the one uh, that that has been you know about to to uh, to or the one that slashed into her looks like it's you know. You guys, you both see it, like it's raising both arms to, to stab into her and, and turn her into so much hamburger. And then, it, for some reason, it, it's no longer there. It, it happens so fast that you're not quite sure at first what it was that happened. Until you see... Um, uh, from the... Up, up behind you, because you're about... Uh, you're still you're about a hundred meters down the street now, maybe a hundred and twenty. And behind you, both of you, or rather, if you look towards where Aideen is is on the ground, you see in the distance a very large eight-legged figure coming towards you. <gasps> Yay! Spider friend. Spidey! Yes, it's also presently chewing on something. Yay! <laughs> Nyom, nom, 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 nom. You see sort of a, a something that vaguely looks like the legs of one of these things vanishing into the mouth of this giant spider. You are not in the Umbra. That's impressive. It's nom, manifested. Nom, nom, nom. Well, if there's so, one uh, enough, I can do that. Spider! Uh, so half of Dublin is going to be triggered looking out of their window if they see this thing. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. It's a nice spider. Agoraphobia must be one of the most common fears. Uh, I think At least after this. Arachnophobia. <laughs> Agoraphobia is fear of... Oh yes, sorry, sorry. I <laughs> don't no know problem. what happened there. It's Arachnophobia. No 
Uh, after this, suddenly all yeah, of Goblin has arachnophobia. Yeah, no, no one knows why. Agoraphobia is a very common one. There you go. It isn't quite there yet, but all, th uh, well, not all three, because number three can't. He's he's snared. Uh, but it's a new round. The good thing he actually it's not. It's not a new round. You have rage actions for goodness sakes. My bad. Yay! I'm I'm a horrible person for forgetting that. Uh, no. Fena, you you uh, have a rage action left. What do you want to do? Yes. Well. I was going to grab Aideen and run for the can, but now the spider's there, so... Well, it isn't quite there yet. Mm. And with mm. Aideen going down, you can tell uh, the other three... The other three uh, spirits uh, all f focus on her now. Yeah, I, I have common sense, so... Uh, get her would the I be fuck able to out. get anywhere with her? Yes, what? yes, get her the fuck out of there, your common sense says. Yes, okay. I'm going straight for Aideen and uh, picking her up whichever way I can and running for the cairn. Yeah, that would have to be either in Homid or in Glabro or something else with arms. She's not able to grab a hold of you. Uh, you do so... have two range, so you could just use one of them to change shape and then the other one to grab her. I, I spent one of those rage actions already. Uh... Yeah. You can also simply, get... you can also simply roll to change. Yeah, I may have to do that because I didn't declare I wanted to spend that extra reach. So yeah, that is, uh, primal is it just primal urge, urge? Plus, primal urge plus stamina. And what form oh, is it you want to change to? Uh, Debra. All right, that's a difficult. Un unless Krenos can do it. Oh, Krenos can definitely do it. Well. That is difficulty fuck. seven to change into. I that. say fuck the litany right now. Yes. My alpha's mate is at stake. Yes. <laughs> and his unborn child. That too. I don't care about the litany. You can deal with the litany later. <laughs> right now, there's more important things at stake. We are already yeah. fighting spirits in wolf form in yeah. open street view. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And there's a giant spider. <laughs> Okay, so it was stamina plus Premluge. Yes. Thing is, this is not a very heavily... This is not a residential area as such. And there aren't any people out in the street for whatever reason. But uh, four successes? Uh, yes. Yes, that's fine. That's easily enough. You get into uh, to Krenos, you spent the rage action on going to grab her and getting her towards the green, right? Yes. Yes, that's fine. You can do that. You you basically you spend your entire round running, grabbing her on the way, probably rather carefully. She is wounded, and then, uh, and then belting towards the uh, the, uh, the cairn. You, you which does leave Madi surrounded by three hissing and spitting and very angry spirits who really really want to see Aideen die. Um. Well, I have a rage action. Yes, you do. What do you want to do with it? Um. Hmm. Because obviously okay. you do act before um, before uh, uh, Fena, but yeah. So I'm guessing it would take the spider next round to get here, or uh, maybe even two. Hmm. Yeah. In that case, I run, but towards the spider. You run towards the spider. All right. Good. So you will basically... Am, am I right in assuming that you guys are basically going to block it off so that she can escape with, with Aideen? All right. Yes, exactly. I want to, together with, with Spider-Mom, yes. who is clearly pissed that they heard another mom, Yes. Um, I want to block off their um, access to Aideen. Yes. Well, uh, that is... That is fine. Let's see. You guys both... Um, you both have rage actions with which to do this, so that's okay. Well, we have a new round. Um, we do need an uh, one more roll of, of initiative here, guys. But basically, depending on what you roll for the initiative, a lot will be decided wow. on that roll in itself. No! Then I don't want to roll a one on this one. 
Um, I don't. Wood penalties don't apply here, right? Uh, no. Fifteen again. Nice. Well, you're on fifteen. Uh, Not I... nice. That means I rolled a three. I have plus twelve. Well, yeah, but it's still better than any of them. Oh, actually, no. I think I have. Uh, yeah, no. It's one lower. I achieved shape. And what shape you in? Krenos. Yeah, because they only have plus one dex. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that, that, that's what I just. Yeah, uh, yeah, they do. Concluded myself. But in any case, guys. Uh, we have Mari down there, but uh, it does mean that Fena does make it away because she acts uh, first. So, providing that that's what you want to just keep running, then you do get uh, distance. Yeah. Uh, but the the uh, the the, the shades um, basically all try to catch up with her to to slash at her, and seeing as she acts first, she is she's got longer legs than they do. Quite simply. Uh, in, in Krenos, so even while carrying a Dean, it's not really a contest. Which means that <clears throat> she does get away. Um, Can I just uh, state here ju just how much of an advantage Finn is at here? I mean, sure, she may have speed advantage from Krenos. She also has four con... Uh, so, sorry, not con. Stamina. Four stamina. A stamina specialty in tireless, and yeah. she has long distance runner, which I was just allowed <laughs> to buy this day. Yeah, yeah. You, you are, you, you are, you are not getting caught by these guys. There's no way in high heaven or low hell they even get close to you. They do try. But that doesn't really say anything about speed. Just that how long she can run. Well, yes. But yeah. The still... thing is, if if she's faster than them, they aren't ever going to catch up. Exactly. She's just going to keep True. running. Uh, so the point is, they don't catch her. They can't catch her, and and never mind that Madi is acting later than them because they they ignore him. They want to get to their actual prey. That's actually why I wrote a notice because I want to snare the fastest of them, just um, to make sure. Okay, uh, sure. Um, Meet me. Um, go ahead. Actually, I, I'll say uh, go ahead and roll that because none of them actually managed to do anything except run after Fenno, who's outpacing them. And as well, it's as an attack, so I guess I have two successes. Yes, yes, you did. Well, you web it, and it too is snared, and and then not long after that, um, number one. Uh, also gets suddenly webbed. Now that you know what it is that's happening, basically it's because the spider grabs it with a strain of web and eats it. It it, it has eaten the, the, hey. the bane. Nom nom. And, and between the two of you, you make very easy work of these last two ones that are frantically trying to catch up to Fena because that's what they've been told to do and they are failing. Mm. And and um, so so that that takes care of of that fight. Uh, the spider looks uh, turns its its great big enormous self towards you as it's it uh, it it stalks uh, up next to to Madi, and says, "I sensed you using the gift I taught you." Yes, it's very useful. Yes, I figured you might need help, my friend. Yes, thank you. You are welcome. Now please go see to the wounded one. She is important, isn't she? Yes, she is. Good. The, she's the maid of our alpha, and she's pregnant. Then please see to her, and I will see you soon, I'm sure. And she fades into the uh, in, into the uh, the ombra again. She, she can I manage to ask her a question before yes, she does? Yes, yes, you can. You wouldn't know how to heal, would you? No. I'm good at eating things. Not so good at putting them back together. Well, I figured you are our mother. Indeed. And then Thank she's you. gone. And, and Madi runs to the green. Yes. And um, then we shall pop over to the, uh, the guys at uh, Tara again. Don't we actually have a 
break coming up right now? Well, there's uh, still a, a while uh, to go for that, just a little bit. But no, you know what? Let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's just take the break now. It's actually it's actually easier to do it now and mm. then just have this episode or this this part of the recording be a little bit uh, a little bit shorter. And then when we get back, we will be um, joining people out at uh, Tara. So stay yep. tuned. <laughs> 